Right, good morning. I have come out to the north shore of Auckland, to the beach that I wanted to go to in the last video, but didn't because the tide wasn't right. This week, the tide's right. I don't know if you can see, we've got sun starting to break over us there. I got the tour in front of me, Rangitoto to the back. And this is what we're going to be trying and working today. Hopefully the sky plays a bit of ball and we get some nice colour. But yeah, it should be a good one. I found my composition. I've got a low rock pool in front of the camera, which provides a nice little reflection off the top of the the tour. And then yeah, I've got this cloud movement. It should be alright. I'll show you here now. So this is a little rock pool that I'm talking about that's in front of the camera. If I go to live view real quick and show you what I'm looking at. I've got that good little rock pool, the tour, good little bit of sky interest as well. Settings wise I'm at F9 ISO 100. I'm bracketing because again I don't have any filters so what I'll do is I'll look to blend and post. And now it's just a matter of waiting and hoping we get some good light. So yeah, fingers crossed. Well, it's absolutely working a treat. We got beautiful color in the sky, beautiful, beautiful color in the sky. We got some beautiful brackets going on. This little pool's exactly what I wanted. It's playing out exactly how I hoped it would. Last weekend was all worth it for this. And that's why you always keep trying. That's why you always keep pushing and seeing what you can get because you never know when Mother Nature is going to turn around and give you a goodie. And that's why you play the game. So one thing I really wanted to talk about is gear. Now, it's not going to be your usual idea. Just have a look at that, right? What I've got here is a basic Canon 600D. For the Americans, it's a Rebel T3i. I've got a Sigma 10 to 20 millimeter lens on it and a little, little basic handle cable release. So. I'm using that to trigger my exposures. As I say, I'm exposing. I've exchanged to one stop over, one stop under, and one dead on. And it's letting me capture a good dynamic range. All my photos that you see are taken with this little Canon 600D. Something like landscape photography, you don't need to have the massive amount of gear. You can still come away with gorgeous pictures just with a little bit of effort. Have a look at that. Can't wait to get the drone up just now. It's gonna look stunning. Right, I think the show is done in the sky wise. But what I might do, because there's some real awesome little yachts and things sitting out in the bay here. Get the drone out, go for a bit of a fly, show you a bit more of this area that I've been photographing this morning. First time I've been here, but man, it's a beaut. A real beaut. So yeah, let's get the drone up and, and see what we can get.
zoned around. We've got some good little video footage. We've had a fantastic morning out here, I have to say. Got the color we were looking for, got the setup we were looking for. So yeah, it just shows us a little bit of pre-planning. can go a long way to making things a lot easier when you get on site. I mean, now uh, it's five past seven, day's only just beginning, and it's really got off to a great start. Absolutely great start. Mm -hmm.